an iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, you're probably already experiencing what people are calling touch disease. Touch disease is a problem with the iPhone where it'll stop receiving touch completely or temporarily while having gray bars at the top of your screen. Now, some of you may know that you have been able to slightly bend your phone to be able to get the touch back, but it's only a temporary fix. Other than that, the other options include getting your logic board repaired by getting new Touch IC chips or just having to buy a new phone completely. In this video, I'm gonna show you what steps are necessary in order to fix your phone without having to do any soldering. I'll leave links in the description below for you to be able to skip the disassembly if you want. I waited a week to release this video because I wanted to make sure it worked before I put this video up. And I can tell you that it does. I stress tested my iPhone for about a week, constantly bending it and doing everyday stuff and the problem never came back. And I wanted to double check that this was actually fixed so I took out the tape from my phone and it immediately came back. When I put the tape back in, the problem went away and it's been like that ever since. This video is not hard to do and I'll leave links for videos that go more in depth to the logic board removal, but in this video I'm just going to be skimming by that. Now, the only other options I was finding were no less than $100 to replace my Touch IC chips. And that was pretty expensive because I had just bought this phone. And I'm gonna show you in this video what it's actually necessary in order to fix it. And just for my background, I have an Apple iOS device repair certification as well as an Apple certified support professional certification. I'll leave links to those so that you can verify those if you want. Once you have removed the logic board, you need to flip it over and peel up the soft cover for the Touch IC chips. Once you locate them, make sure to be very careful and not to touch them with your finger so you do not short out the logic board. Here's a picture to better see what I'm referring to. After you've located them, you need to get a piece of folded electrical tape just as wide as the bottom sensor. Place the tape firmly against the sensor and put the soft cover back down. Now proceed to put the logic board back in the phone. Like I said, I waited over a week to release this because I wanted to make sure it actually worked. This works because it's applying slight pressure to the back of the chip and is not letting it come off of the board. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have the touch disease. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and let me know what you want the next video to be about. If you have any questions about the repair, let me know and I'll try to help. And thanks for watching.